graph consists of two things, of vertices and edges that connects these vertices. And we have seen such things before. If we say this is a vertex 1, this is a vertex 2, and vertex 3, and vertex 4, and then we will say, okay, these are the vertices, so I have a V here to consist of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, now, and edges that connect uh, some of the vertices, maybe all of them, connects this to this, maybe this to that, and uh, maybe uh, R to, to 1. This is a graph, simply. So each is has either one or two vertices associated to it, which are called endpoints. So this edge in here, it has this vertex or and this vertex connected to it. Here it says one or two. What does that mean? Some edges may work this way. So this connects the three with itself. You remember we use that to represent a reflexive or to present an element uh, uh, related to itself or to present a reflexive uh, relation where every element is related to itself. So we will call this loop actually. Here it is. It is that connects a, ver a vertex to itself. Connects the vertex to itself is called the loop. So in here, this is a loop. So okay, so for the loop, the end point, so the end point is the same, uh, they are the same point essentially. But for other edges rather than uh, the loops, uh, two vertices are uh, connected. Okay, now uh, you notice if I want to do a, an edge like that, which ends here at no vertex. There is no vertex here. No vertex. We cannot do this. This does not happen in a graph. When we mean a graph, we mean a ver uh, an edge connects two different vertices or it connects a vertex to itself. But uh, we will not allow an edge to end in the air, to end at nothing. So uh, this will be uh, all of that together is not a graph. Unless we take this away, then we say, okay, we have got a graph without that. Okay. So also an edge um, and it just said to connect, connect the endpoints. So we will say uh, this edge, uh, for example, it connects four with two. So these are terminologies. Okay, now if you notice the graph I made above there has no arrows, no directions. And uh, recall that when we represented relations, we used directed graphs. Here we go. A directed graph it consists of vertices and edges the same thing vertices and edges that we may call arcs but these edges are directed directed graph sometimes called digraph okay so for example we'll say this is one connected to two and we will say one goes to two that will have might have some meaning and one two is connected to three and also one is connected to three and three may be connected to itself and there is four which is only connected to three and three goes to four so this is a direct graph you can make one it's easy okay so i directed edge associated a pair u and v starts at u set to start at u and ends at V. Say we have a graph of this form, this vertex is U, this vertex is V, and the edge is going that way. So we will say it starts at U and ends, ends at V. So directed graph may contain directed edges that connect the vertex U in both directions. Okay, so let me uh, uh, continue that u v maybe this uh, vertex is called x and going that way and another vertex uh, y and uh, maybe vertex b a 
and this goes to connect it to B now we might get now uh, U uh, is connected to V there's an edge that starts at U and ends at V what says here directed graphs may contain directed edges that connect vertices U and V in both direction in both direction so U goes to V and then we will say V goes to U and we will use uh, so that means there is another edge going from U to V the opposite way and again we have seen this when we worked uh, when we represented the graphs uh, relations sorry using graphs so okay so this is the graph and directed graph okay what do we mean by simple graph here a simple graph it is a graph that has no loops and every two vertices are connected by one edge only here we go a graph a simple graph is in which each edge connects two different vertices that means two different so I will not allow an edge to connect the same vertex which gives a loop I will not allow this if I want to see a simple graph and no two edges connect the same pair of vertices no two edges connect the same pair of vertices so uh, we will say okay uh, I will draw a graph which is not simple okay uh, this is not simple because one is connected not a simple graph because one is connected to itself so it has loops and uh, another not a simple graph so we, we can just easy make uh, graphs and we will study some kind of graphs these are just arbitrary now one goes to two two goes to three maybe you now if three goes back to two then this causes this graph to be not simple so to say a graph is not simple then that means no loops are there and no uh, edges in both uh, that connects uh, that connects two vertices uh, any two vertices are connected in one edge only here I made it I made it uh, uh, directed okay, like I mean it does, does not necessarily have to be going up this way and the opposite way no just two two edges connecting two edges connecting the same pair of vertices without uh, without the, the direction so this is still not symbol okay because we have two edges connecting two and three now again each edge is associated to an ordered pair of vertices so each pair of vertices u and v there is one edge between them only so we will say that we will use this notation to say to denote an edge in a path okay so for instance let me go here if i have one two three four going to two and then going to one now when I write this is important when I write one two let me use green when I write one and two I mean this edge because we have symbol graph so when I list two vertices in a parentheses uh, set to parentheses that means I mean the edge connecting these two vertices and I can do this without any confusion because we are assuming we are, that we are having symbolic graph which means every two vertices they are connected by one edge only so when I list these two vertices between parentheses I mean the edge which is connecting them so to make this clear because this simple notation is important for us later when I say one four that means 
the edge connecting one four. So when I see this, now I see an edge. I want to emphasize this. When I see two and three, for example, here, let me write it here. When I write this, I see an edge, which is this edge. Now we denote edges D, not edges this way. Okay? Now a simple graph might be directed and might not. So we go and uh, this is not a simple graph. We just go here. We might give it direction or not. Okay? So maybe things are going that way. So whether directed or not, it's still the same meaning for a simple graph. Okay. Now, if we have some bit of graphs here, that means there are some graphs that are not simple. So, okay, okay, I can give them in one screen. Let me keep them in one screen. So, what we call multigraphs. Multigraphs, that means there are vertices, pairs of vertices, for which there are multiple edges connecting them. These edges might be uh, directed or not directed. So we might have directed or non-directed multigraph. So it's the same thing, multigraph here. So this is graphs that have multiple edges connecting the same vertices. Okay, multiple edges. So in here I have a multiple edge connecting two and three. Okay, so this is a multigraph. It's not simple, but it is a multigraph. If it is oriented, it has direction, then we will say it is directed multigraph. Okay, now two vertices U and V here are connected by more than, if they are connected by more than one edge, maybe by two edges or three edges or four edges, then we will call that number of edges connecting these two vertices, we will call it the multiplicity name. So we will say that this is uh, if there are m different edges connecting u and v then we say that this edge now this edge is an edge with multiplicity m so the in, in this graph here we have this edge 2 and 3 if i add one more edge connecting and maybe okay and let me add one more here and say this is another edge connecting 1 and 2 uh, and one more and let me say that so 2 and 3 has multiplicity how many edges connecting 2 and 3? 4 while 1 and 2 has multiplicity How many just connecting one and two? There are three. Okay, so this is the idea. And again, multigraphs might be uh, directed or not. Okay, now one more kind of uh, graphs. Uh, Pseudo graphs. There are there are graphs that may include loops may may include loops and possibly multiple edges connecting the same pair of vertices or a vertex itself or a vertex itself so it might contains loop so if we say this is one again this is two three four five and one so pseudo may contain loops so if it is of that form and possibly multiple edges connecting okay so we will call this uh, pseudo graphs so uh, multiple edges connecting the same pair of vertices or a vertex uh, to itself or multiple edges to vertex it to itself so maybe we will have one connected to itself with more than one loop so this called uh, these are called pseudo graphs now you might ask me what is the difference between multigraphs and pseudo graphs then i will say uh, 
containing the loop or not okay uh, let me repeat what I just explained when you say multi graph that means you have a graph where there are two vertices that connected by more than one edge two or three or four you cannot call a simple graph you cannot call it multi graph no simple graph means every pair of vertices is connected by only one edge and loops are not allowed multi graph loops are not allowed and there is some pair of vertices for example I can say this is one two three and four and five okay now each one of these is each pair of these vertices are connected twice if I find one pair is connected more than one then this is a multi graph just one pair of vertices that has more than one edge this is enough reason to call it multi graph and it is not a simple graph uh, uh, anymore and again if I go to the graph here this graph here is simple graph right it is not multi it is not let me write here I need a space it is not multi graph so you cannot so it is not multi graph you cannot call a simple graph multi graph okay it is um, different between representing the vertices as pair of our set okay let me go back to Kaltum uh, M in the multi graph explain again uh, from where should we get it it's the number of vertices I I each pair of elements has their own multiplicity that means if it, uh, sorry sorry each pair of vertices I shall not say elements here each pair of vertices look at them count how many edges are connecting them this number of edges is called the multiplicity so in this graph here two and three there are four edges connecting them so we will say this edge has multiplicity four now the set notation two and three we mean an edge and we are mentioning the how many copies of that edge there are there are and same thing if you go to one and two here one and two this edge has multiplicity three because there are three edges connecting the two the vertices one and two okay so what difference representing vertices as pair or as a set now when we represent here set notation uh, as set only will take the all the vertices together so for uh, this here for this graph here we will see the set of vertices consists of one two three four and five this is a set just we think about it as a set now in a graph we must make some notation to denote an edge connecting to vertices we we make some notation for that and now we agree that the notation is using the set notation so again in here is when I say it's two three now I don't mean it a set we mean it now as an edge okay so when I choose two vertices from the set V one two three four five when I choose two vertices and make the set notation for them then I mean the edge connecting these two vertices now the set notation here for every two vertices means the edge connecting them so this is a notation a new notation that we are adopting okay Sam. now posido graphs uh, as we said it includes uh, loops and multi edges now if you say okay 
uh, what the difference between pseudograph and multigraph um, pseudograph may contain loops and multiple edges multigraph contains multiple edges only I will show you something now uh, let's go to a uh, mixed graph. What do we mean by a mixed graph? It's a graph that contains both directed and indirect edges. So mixed graph, a mixed graph do not talk about the number of edges, but the kind of edges. Directed and indirected. If this is one, two, three, four, five. Now we might have one connected to two, but there's no direction. 2 connected to 3, no direction. 3 connected to 4, but there is a direction. 4 connected to 5, and 5 connected to 1. So this is a mixed. This is a mixed graph. If we make a direction here, then th it is still a mixed graph. Because there are edges that are directed, and other edges that are indirected. If all edges are directed, then we say this is a multigraph. We don't say this a mixed. If all edges are indirected, then we say this is uh, an indirect graph. We don't say it is mixed. But to say it is mixed, we must have uh, directed and indirected graphs. Uh, I said a sentence which, when where I said instead of saying directed graph, I said multigraph. I think. So let me repeat what I said. If I if the edges in the graph all of them has direction, then we say it is directed graph. This is the the mistake I said. I should say it's directed graph, not multigraph. Okay. So this is mixed graph, and this is still mixed graph, and it's still mixed graph. Now this edge here is undirected, so I will say this is mixed graph. Now if I give direction to this remaining edge between the three, then this will become directed graph, not mixed graph anymore. Okay. Okay. Now if we want to summarize what we have learned, let's see. Simple graph. What do we mean by simple graph? It says edges. So the simple graph here. What's about edges? Simple graphs. What about edges? They are undirected. Okay. Does it have multiple edges? No. Loops? No. Same thing here for simple di directed graphs. It's the same as the simple graph. So it has here no. So I will use the red for simple graphs. No uh, loops and no directed edges. But the difference here is the edges are all directed all of them directed not some of them that will be a mixed graph so simple graph and simple directed graphs they have no multiple edges and they have no loops for the simple graph the edges are not directed and none of them is directed none of them and for the simple directed graph all edges are directed okay now if we have a simple graph whose edges, some of them are directed and some are not, then we will say it is a, a mixed graph. Okay. I would rather say mixed simple graph. Okay. Let me use uh, the green for the multigraph. Multigraph here and directed multigraph. So multigraph uh, the edges are not directed, but the directed multigraph, the edges are all directed. Now, do they have multiple edges? Yes. Do they have loops? Look in here. Loops are not allowed in the multigraph. Okay. But in the directed multigraph, loops are allowed. And I don't know about this. I'm not sure why. Now, loops are allowed in the directed multigraph. In the multigraph, it does not it did not allow loops. It did not allow elements to be connected to itself. But in directed multigraph, it allows loops. So we will take it. So let me remove the question mark in here. Just we will take it, okay? Because when when we go to application, when we use vertices computer, uh, um, for example, uh, network of computers, 
we might see an edge going from computer to the other data goes from this computer to the other and maybe uh, uh, there are two more lines uh, taking data from one computer to other so let me uh, represent that maybe we have computer one and computer two and assume we have many computers in the network so just let's take a uh, computer to elastic uh, a pair of them a computer one send the information to computer two in some line and maybe there's a heavy traffic between these two computers and then we may say okay it, there's another line where computer one send information to computer two okay but the information computer two sends back information to computer one but the traffic in there the amount of information information sent back is less so maybe one way going back is enough okay now sometimes we will see okay for a matter of supporting uh, uh, some information the computer will send this to itself somehow how I'm, do, can i say that computer will uh, 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 support this information by sending this to itself how, how this could be possible okay so we will allow loops in a directed multigraphs that's why here we will go for it okay now let's use the purple color for pseudo graph pseudo graphs they are undirected it allows multiple edges and it allows loops okay now at the end mixed graph it is directed and indirected it allows multiple edges and it allows loops so everything is mixed you can have multiple edges you can have direction you can have no direction so let me uh, make uh, an example for this so i will give here a graph which is mixed graph but it is does not belong to any uh, other kind of graphs so let's let's do that so uh, we will have for example one is going to two uh, two is going to one three is connected to th to two but there's no direction for some reason and uh, four is connected to itself three is connected to four so this is uh, this is not a simple graph and it is a multi graph it is not a multigraph because it has loop. Multigraph does not have a loop. Is it pseudo uh, graph? No, because they have direction. It is simple directed graph. No. Is it directed graph? Directed graph. It means it has multiple edges and uh, allows loop. Yes, it is called directed graph. But no, no, it's not directed. Why? Uh, because uh, two and three. It is undirected. It allows. Uh, okay two and three are connected by an edge which is not directed so it is not a directed multigraph so this is an example of a mixed graph which is none of the uh, kind of graphs above there if it is undirected how it allows loop and uh, edges the edges uh, undirected uh, how it allow uh, loops and edges undirected we can uh, just uh, uh, connect two uh, elements together without saying which one goes to the other we will see examples like when we say want to make a graph of uh, uh, friendship between you the students of this class then I will connect for example Ali to Ahmed I will not make an row going from Ali to Ahmed or from Ahmed to Ali because that does not have a meaning the only meaning I want to say that Ahmad and Ali are connected because they are a friend then I will draw a line between them and edge between them without saying uh, without giving it the direction but if I say for example uh, I, may, I want to make a graph where people can convince each other I will say uh, Ahmad can convince Ali but Ahmad cannot convince uh, Muhammad convince with an idea so then I will connect Ahmed and Ali with an row going from Ahmed to, to Ali. We will, we will get to it. So there are some reasons where uh, edges have direction and some edges do not have direction. We will come to this within uh, a while. Okay. So we will see graph modules. 
uh, first module we will see is social networking. What does that mean? Acquaintanceship, acquaintanceship and friendship graphs. Acquaintance mean uh, people know each other. الناس بيعرف بعض. تعرف هذا الشخص أو بعرفه. Then there's an acquaintance between you and them. You know that that guy. Are you a friend of that guy or not? No, I'm not a friend, but I know him. So we will connect people somehow uh, using edges to uh, uh, denote that two people, two person are acquainted together, they know each other, or they are a friend together or not. Uh, so let me uh, bring that. Uh. Okay, acquaintance and the friendship. Now uh, you know now you see now the names of people name, names of people here and uh, you see lines connecting them so when there are two people connected in one line that means they know each other or they are friends let's let's say here and know each other means a friend so let's assume they have the same meaning so uh, we can see here uh, amy is a <laughs> very friend a friendship a fr friendly person is a friend of Todd a friend of Liz and a friend of Paula and a friend of Steven okay Edward here is a friend for only one guy same thing for Cheng a friend of one guy uh, just like that Coco is a friend of Steve Liz is a friend of Paula Steve and Layla Layla is a friend of Paula, John, and Jewel. Uh, 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 Gail and Larry, Kerry are not friends. I can see that from the graph, huh? Coco and Shakira are not friends. Oh, okay. So this is a graph where we the direction of edges means nothing for us. Okay, okay. But now we will see a graph where direction of edges it has a meaning it is influence graphs i may say okay we have a group of friends they know each other then i will say okay ali but i say that uh, ali can convince ahmed so i will say i will do that ali can convince ahmed okay So you can make your own graph and you say, okay, Ahmad can convince uh, Nasser. Nasser can convince uh, Sami. Okay. Now, Ali can convince Sami too. And you know, Sami can convince Nasser. Okay. And there's another person in there, which is called uh, Yasser, maybe. Ali can convince him also. And the answer has nothing to do with the other guys. Can or cannot convince them, we don't know. Okay? Can Ahmed convince Sami? We don't know. Because they're not connected with an edge. If I want to say, okay, okay, we, we missed that. Ahmed can't convince Sami too. Then, okay, we will make that edge. Okay? Can Sami convince Ali here? No. We, there's no uh, an edge. Uh, starting from Sami going to Ali so we cannot say Sami convince Ali we cannot say that okay so now here edges have directions and uh, uh, to, to make the influence graph between people influence here means they can uh, affect each other so to say to make such a graph we must have used directed edges Do you know the influence graph there is this is a very important thing there are huge huge bu budget huge amounts of money uh, given to people who work research on these things represented by graphs and then a lot of mathematics things goes there a lot of uh, things from mathematics a lot of modeling a lot of advanced mathematics goes there to see how people can uh, convince each other and this is very important and very sensitive actually so we just we take in it for fun as uh, influencing graph uh, of this kind okay now you know uh, we can mix something we will say okay you know but there's another guy whose uh, name is Rami 
and he just knows Ali we don't know he convinced Ali or Ali convinced him we don't know but we know he's a friend of Ali so the edge here is not oriented so now we have a mixed uh, a mixed uh, graph uh, now we cannot here see uh, this uh, we cannot say uh, Ali can con convince himself so it does not make sense to make a loop at Ali Ali can convince himself so this is not allowed for the influence graph okay now what are another brand of uh, uh, another brand of or another module of graph so we have seen social networking this is a module of graph another module of graph is communication networks communication between computers um, between uh, people between uh, phones let's see now these are phone numbers carried by some people now the direction uh, this is a direction from this number to that number it means on that day this number here called this number okay did this number below called the, no, the number above did him uh, did him call him back no okay let's see let's see what's happening here between this number and this number i can see uh, the number above there called the number below three times why because i can see here is one and two edges and three edges going from above number to the below one so uh, and the one below called the above one two times because there are two directed edges so the if i let me say this vertex has uh, uh, let me name it u the big number uh, and let me name this vertex v now i will say here because you just ask about me uv here means now the edge is the edge connecting u and v but we have five copies of that edge so we will see this has multiplicity multiplicity five now you may ask me okay shall when i count multiplicities when i count edges between two vertices shall i only count the ones that are directed the answer is no directed and undirected count them all okay okay again you can see the the number above here uh, this one uh, called uh, this number how many times two times but the number here did not call that number here at all did not oh did it call it no did not call it if it if it would call it then there will be an edge going all the way here and oriented this way okay so now you can see on that day who called who and who called back and how many times did one call the other okay and we need here oriented edges to understand uh, this thing and please read from the book it is very interesting it will tell you that for a certain company in some day there were a number of millions or uh, uh, of calls uh, this is interesting please read it from the book you will find it fun okay now I have here we have the same graph as above same numbers called each other huh but in the above uh, graph there we know who called who and whether there was a back call okay but we might uh, interested in the people who called each other without caring who called who I just want to know uh, people who called each other uh, and how many times they called each other I don't want to know that uh, this number called this number three times and this number called back two times I don't care they are five this this guy called this guy three times and he called him back two times then they are five this is the number I want there were five calls between them I don't care who called who so in these numbers here there are five calls and this is the multiplicity again if this is you and this is V 
then the multiplicity of uv here is five because we have one two three four five it is undirected no problem so if we go back here these are here the two numbers we are talking about but we know who called who at every time for the same two numbers here we know they called each other five times and we don't care who called and who answered so this is the reason why we use directed and indirected graphs uh, sometimes okay so one more module of graphs is the software design application so you are a computer science major and then you design programs right and when you design a program like that you know some procedures who cannot be executed unless some other have been finished before right like if you want to perform this program here s1 all the way s2 s1 says a equals 0 okay that's fine b s2 equal uh, says b equals 1 s2 now s3 says c equals a plus 1 so you cannot you cannot uh, perform s3 unless s1 is is ready so we have to use directed graph now from s1 here and it goes to s3 that means i need s1 to go to s3 but in s2 i need no step before that so i will just write it this way but you see here s4 says d equals b plus a so i need b and i need a, a b and a are defined in s1 and s2 so before i can perform or execute s4 i must have s1 and s2 in hand okay what about s5 it needs e equals d plus one d is comes from s4 so i need s4 here do i need s1 for to do s5 do i need that yes i need it but directly do you really do really i need s1 say uh, s5 says d plus one but i got d from s4 but I cannot get S4 unless I have S1. So we will have this direct edge, directed edge. Because S2, each of S2 and S1 is needed to do S5. And now to do S6, we need to do C plus D. D comes from S4. C comes from S3. So to do this, we must go to, uh, let me use another color, uh, S6, green. We must go to s3 is needed s4 is needed and but s4 needs s2 s3 needs s1 and there's no need to go from s6 does not wait s5 so we don't need that so there is another reason for directed graphs software application there is another example in the book please go and look at it okay so so far we have seen uh, three models of graphs uh, social networking uh, uh, communication networking and uh, uh, programming modules and now transportation uh, networking like airline uh, routes assume we want to talk about oman airline in one day we want to see how the flight of Oman Air Light goes. We will find it goes from Muscat. And there was a flight to Dubai. Uh, so there was a flight to Dubai. And there was a flight back actually. And it went from Dubai to Jeddah. But did not go back uh, and it goes from Muscat to anywhere Amman and so on it does not go from Amman to Jeddah and so on maybe there is a connection flight from Amman to then to London and so on so we need to use uh, directed graphs 
loops here are not allowed because it will not fly from the same orbit it come, come, comes back also another example of transportation networks uh, this is an interesting example for, please look at it in the book but I will talk about it vertices here will be the junction uh, now if we make a graph like that for example uh, that means uh, see I can make a direct and indirected indirected graphs between uh, uh, junctions and uh, it the graph ex expands here because these are streets and they keep going but now these are junctions so these roads meet here okay I will say uh, let's complete that okay now if I see these are uh, the roads between the junction they have no direction so if you are a driver and you have a map and it is represented this way then you will assume that each road connecting any of these two vertices any of these two junction is two ways going and com coming back right because they did not specify a direction that means it is in two direction okay now maybe some roads between junction is one way direction you cannot go back then if you do this then the the edges with directions means this is a one way direction so i will not plan to go uh, back uh, from this junction to this junction there is no way I have to follow another way and the edges without uh, direction the indirect edges represent uh, uh, represent roads with two directions okay maybe you will think okay why don't we just uh, make it easier for us and make okay this goes this way uh, and this goes this way May, okay now if you see that in the map you will understand this is two sides of it is a highway it looks like this is a highway this is the road for that direction and this is the road for coming back direction but if you see an edge like that this is a road so it is uh, one uh, uh, road with that has two direction but it's not separated it's just one piece going in two direction and not an autostrad or a highway so you can understand and read out informations from such a things now I want to emphasize here please go to the book uh, and read uh, from the book it is fun because it will tell you uh, show you graphs coming from real data like the airlines uh, some airlines how many air, air flights how many flights there were between uh, airports and calls between people using some data from a real company how many calls there are uh, and different other examples I did not make examples where uh, for example uh, people who cooperate in doing some research work so we have researcher around the world and we will connect two of them with indirect edge showing that these two people worked on some research so I did not mention that example uh, another example is about a citation which is you don't know what citation means anyway I will just emphasize you that go to the book please and read uh, uh, this section from the book and I hopefully this uh, video this lecture would tells you what you uh, what you are expected to learn from uh, this section and thank you we are done and we go to discussion